Hello everyone, it's me, Kathy, from Cyber Sewing School, and welcome to my education playlist and my first video on the Baby Lock Valiant, which is a 10 needle machine, is going to be on the IQ Designer or My Design Center if you're using a Brother 10 needle. However, the fundamentals in this video are going to be perfect if you have a uh, Dream Machine, Baby Lock, Destiny, or even the concepts will be applicable, although it will look a little different, on the Brother Luminaire as well as the Baby Lock Solaris. And those are all top of the line single needle machines, but I am demonstrating these principles on a Baby Lock Valiant, which is a 10 needle machine. Also, you could be using the Brother, all right? The Brother equivalent to mine would be the 1050X. All right, so here is our screen. I'm just gonna touch it with the stylus and it's going to take me to my home screen. I'm going to press OK so the machine can calibrate. All right, so here is my basic screen right here. Here is my home key up here, which will take me to this screen. Down here at the right-hand corner, I have my IQ Designer icon. If you're working with a brother, it's going to be my Design Center. Below it, you do have some helpful functions, and this is your settings right here, and these are helpful videos. So we're not gonna be doing anything with those today. I'm going to be talking about the fundamentals and the basics of IQ Designer or my Design Center. If I use one reference to IQ Designer, I mean both. If I make a reference to My Design Center, I mean both. IQ and My Design Center, basically one in the same here for this video. All right, so I'm gonna go into IQ Designer. Now, what is IQ Designer and My Design Center? This is where you can create your own embroidery designs from scratch. It's pretty cool. Lots of things you can do with this, and I'm gonna do some sample projects with you. However, it doesn't take the place of software. All right, software is a whole nother ball game, but there's a lot of people out there that just don't feel comfortable using software, and they just want to get more acquainted with creating their own designs using the simple features of My Design Center or IQ Designer. Now, a lot of people are mystified when they use this, so I'm gonna to try to demystify some of the components here in this first video. All right, so this is your working screen right here. This is where you're gonna see what you're doing, all right, all the time. And you'll notice right here, I have a grid system. I do not want that grid system on for this video, so I am going to go into my settings right here, and I'm going to go to my frame display. You're seeing this grid right here. However, for what I'm doing, I am just going to take off all my grids by pressing the arrow key until this disappears. If I keep pressing my arrow keys, I can choose whatever grid suits my purpose. Sometimes I like to work with the crosshairs. Most of the time, I don't like to work with anything but that center point or nothing at all. All right, so right here, I have nothing just but that center point and that's where I'm gonna continue from. All right, so I'm gonna press OK. Back at my main screen. Now you have another smaller screen up here, and it's a little hard to explain what this is until we start designing and doing certain things. So I'm just gonna kind of forget about this for now. Moving over here, this is where we can do just a scan. A scan is a picture of what is on your scanning frame or you can scan what is in your hoop and bring it in as a background in IQ Designer or My Design Center. So all this icon does is basically create a picture. Then this icon right here, you can create a line image. Now, generally speaking, there are some exceptions. Creating a line image is just for a line drawing, a black and white line drawing. Create fill image is where you will be working with a color illustration that you're trying to scan to digitize. Both of these functions right here are for digitizing a design that you have scanned. This right here is basically just for scanning a picture. So let me repeat that. Scanning a picture, digitizing a line design, and this one right here is for digitizing a color illustration. Right up here, if you wanna go back to your home screen, just press that and it will take you out of IQ Designer or My Design Center. Down here, we have the magnification, so you can increase your magnification. 
of what you're doing to really do fine detailed work. On my machine, I can do it up to 800%. Yours may vary depending on what machine you have. I will go into this in more detail in a future video. Here we have an eraser, so just like a pencil eraser. If you do something on your screen, you want to erase it, yes, you can choose your eraser right here, and when I press that, you can choose how you want to use your eraser, circular or square, small or up to large, and sometimes one is more appropriate than the other as far as size and shape. Going into your shapes icon right here, when I press my shapes icon, you have different categories. I'm going to explain these in a future video, but you basically have all these shapes in this first icon right here. If I press this next folder, it gives me more shapes. Press the third folder. These are our open shapes and press the last one. This is for outlines that we have created from actual JPEG, I'm sorry, not JPEG, um, actual PES files that we have purchased. And this right here is just to let IQ Designer know what hoop we are using. Your icons, if you are using a single needle machine, will look different from the ones I have here. I'm gonna cancel this out. And you do have your selection tool right here. This really can confuse people, so I'm going to be covering a lot with how to use that selection tool once I get to it. And then you do have a couple options grayed out. So don't worry about the grayed out options yet. It just means that we don't have anything to work with on our screen, so we can't use those icons if we don't have anything created. All right, here's another area that really confuses people, and this would be your properties box. Now, if you are working on a single needle machine and not a multi-needle like me, these icons will be placed on the right-hand side, and some of them will be placed at the bottom going across. Don't worry that it's a different location. The principles I'm telling you are the same. You have to understand that one of these boxes is for regions and one is for your outside shapes, your lines. So this right here, I always think that this is a clue right here, this pencil. That pencil in this first properties box is for lines, 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 lines. I can't emphasize that enough. So this right here is your line property box. These are your line properties right here. The one below it, you'll see you have a paintbrush here. Think of painting a wall. You can either draw on the wall with a crayon like kids often do or a marker. You really don't want them to do that. Or you can paint over those markings that your kids have drawn with a paintbrush. So this right here is line properties, but we generally paint a region. We paint a wall. So this is your region properties box down here. This is your line properties box up here. Both of them have different applications, but you will see that three of these icons are the same. Your fill bucket tool, I call this your notepad and your eyedropper, whoops, eyedropper are the same on here and down here. So before you select one of those, you have to always ask yourself, am I working as a region property? Am I working with a region property? Or am I working with a line property? All right, so we will get more into this. All right, going down here, the important icons that you have, you can always cancel something, but this icon right here, you wanna be very careful with it. This is the all clear icon. So if you want to erase or just get a new piece of paper, so to speak, press all clear. And if you haven't saved it, it's just gonna wipe out, take everything off that you had drawn there, everything that you are working with. If you go to do something, creating something and you make a mistake, this is your undo button. You have, um, on my machine, I believe it's up to 50 undos. On some of the newer models, you have many more undos. And on some of your Sol your Solaris and Luminaires, you have a redo, but, uh, redo arrow as well. But on mine, I only have an undo. These two icons right here are to save a design that you're creating into the pocket. And this one right here is to take something that you have worked on previously and take it out of the pocket so you can retrieve that and continue working with it. This right here is your next icon to take you to the next page when you are working with the design and you're trying to customize it. All right, so that's the video I have today just on these fundamentals. In the next video, I'm going to go into how to create a simple design. Thanks for watching lesson one 
of how to get started with IQ Designer or My Design Center on your multi-needle or your single needle brother or baby lock machine.